the Spice Girls always had the idea of wanting to make a musical out of uh, our music. Um, some of the girls come from a theatre background and we had mentioned it a few times, you know, when we were together. And then uh, when we finished the Spice Girls tour, the reunion tour, the last one, um, Emma and I got very proactive and uh, we, we started approaching you know, producers and actually the top producer that we wanted was on top of our list, which the other girls really liked as well, was Judy Kramer, Mamma Mia. And, um, and we, had, we got around for a cup of tea in my kitchen and uh, we were quite nervous. It was like a date, you know, you think you really want to impress this person. And then she was so lovely and so warm and she felt she was the right, she was the right woman for the job. She's brilliant. She took 10 years to get Mamma Mia off the ground. There's a big piece on her I read in the Times, which, you know, r around the time, and I was just so, so impressed by her. And so it was amazing that she said yes. When you work with someone like Judy Kramer, you really are just trusting, you know, she, she's done it before. There is no reason why you have to get in there and, and you know, have any sort of real control on it. You're trusting her. And, uh, but she was very generous in sharing the process with us. And, uh, but it was one of those things, you know, I think you can have too many cooks. And, uh, and then she was really wonderful sharing what she was thinking about who to hire as a director, as writer, and, you know, that journey that she went on of different ones. And then when she finally settled on Jennifer, it felt such a natural choice and genius choice because she, Jennifer has, you know, she's been part of the Spice Girls from the beginning. She's one of us. You know, she played me in The Sugar Lumps, you know, for comic relief. Um, she's just like, she's such a genius woman and an amazing writer because she can do comedy, but she actually can do heart and relevant and simple. And you'll see it in the story. It's really poignant. I actually, Jennifer blew me away in her writing. Uh, it's so impressive. The show explores celebrity culture, which the Spice Girls were obviously a part of, and the TV talent show, which you've played a part in. Why is all this something that you wanted to go into? I think the story is really relevant to our times. You know, everybody knows this, uh, the story of the Spice Girls. You know, you've lived with us. So we felt it was really good to make a story that was about our times that everybody can relate to in different ways, you know, whether it's about friendship, love, fame, um, identity, relationships. Um, it feels really, really relevant. It deals with growing up, growing older, but all wrapped in a lot of fun. Jennifer's done it so well. So what about the whole TV talent show, the reality show then? Because you've obviously had experience of this. Yeah, it's really interesting, you know, the look of it. I mean, obviously it's done tongue in cheek too, but, you know, it's poking fun at it, but also it's poking, you know, what is more important, you know, your friendship, your identity or fame and those talent shows and aging on television and just all those things are brought up. Um, and it's got a, obviously wrapped up in our songs and, you know, and good humour. So which is more important, friendship or fame? intoxicating you know when, when for me it was something that, that was like a beacon of light that you know I always wanted to be a pop star it's always about the music but the, the sort of the fame element felt to me that suddenly you've become important and 